I think the biggest challenge that we're facing is water quality. Uh, the, between the exponential increase in tourism and hotel developments along the shore, very close to the shoreline, and uh, the fact that we don't have sufficient water treatment plants in the area means that the water quality has gone down uh, gradually and so anything we do here on land eventually gets out to the water that surrounds the coral reefs and so um, I think that's the biggest challenge is um, helping the authorities understand the importance of, of good water quality surrounding coral reefs. Um, but in the meantime reefs are slowly degrading and so we need to work on do more work on restoration to try to help the system try to recover. So there's a saying that to raise a child it takes a village and my belief is that to restore reefs it will take many villages. So my vision is that in the future we will have many people working to restore coral reefs and using sexual coral reproduction to do so, to help um, have a high genetic diversity of corals and help them to survive uh, all the climate change conditions that they're going to be receiving in the, in the next coming decades. Originally, my dream was to have a national program. It's now developed into an international program. We have uh, people here from Colombia, from uh, the Netherlands, working with us this year, for example. And in the future, I hope that we can include many other people uh, to work on this dream of restoring reefs and giving them a future. My name is Anastasia Banashak and I'm a researcher here at the Reef Systems Academic Unit of the National Autonomous University of Mexico in Puerto Morelos.